And we're back. Oh, wait, no, don't start yet. <laughs> I tried to remember where we left off because I just had to do a bunch of work in between videos, and hopefully my, my phone might go off again a couple times during the video, so I'm gonna have to pause. Um, we just saved. Oh, yeah, that's right. We were gonna do something with gadgets. I think. Okay, yeah, so yeah, there's a... What? I think we're gonna go back to town and get gadgets at some point. So you'll notice that, uh, the very right, that little picture that man is gone. Um, now it's a bunch of Z's. That means he's gonna rest. Okay, so they gave us gadgets. Huzzah! Um, because they want us to train better so we can win this tournament, so they gave us gadgets. Helper. You're trying to make me laugh, aren't you? Yeah, they just keep talking about this body every time I come and <laughs> Okay. Um, so here's one's called a plate kit. Uh, it's got a small intelligence tank attached to it, so he's got some intelligence gain and some life gain. Uh, there's always a little bit of gain pretty much for every skill. And how tired he gets is at the bottom. Um, so we have the knife kit, which increases accuracy and a little bit of intelligence. And the jump kit, which does power and defense. So, uh, Peter Rose can go either way, but they're better at intelligence. So we're going to go the intelligence route. I don't know if I want to do accuracy first, or we'll do it. I guess we'll do this first, because it's always good to have intelligence and life. Yeah. So we'll give him the, yeah, we'll give him the plate. Um, so yeah, now you can see that we've assigned him the plate. Uh, you can't, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Are you serious, Hopper? Sorry, so he's playing Skyrim, and he's dragging this dead body around, and it keeps making me laugh, so he's like, I'm just gonna dump it in the river, and he dropped the body right before he was gonna dump it, and the guard came up, looked at the body, and he goes, I'm gonna fight out whoever did this, and he's not paying attention to the fact that he's dragging this body through town. <laughs> Anyways, so you'll notice that uh, we've given him the plate spin. Um, we can only assign the plate spin to one monster at a time. They can't share. So, it's generally a good idea not to have a bunch of... <laughs> okay, sorry. It's generally not a good idea to have like all intelligence monsters because then you'd have to switch off your intelligence gadgets with them all. So it's good to have a mix of power and intelligence. That way you don't have to share gadgets with so many different kinds of monsters. Okay. No, I don't want to choose a trick. Alright. So I think we can alter our own schedules now. Okay, yeah, we can go between showtime and training. So there's no reason to do showtime since we have no motivation. So we'll close for the week. So does motivation need to rebuild between shows, I guess? Yes, your motivation will reset afterwards. Yeah, so he's just standing here now because he's all like, Oh, I'm done. I'm not doing anything. Oh, I guess we'll go check the saucer shop. Okay. And she always has to come with us when we leave the tent. It's like... Is she, like, standing at the exit? Wait, no, she's not standing at the exit. She's standing in that big room, isn't she? How could she tell mm -hmm. when we leave? You should take Piroro with, Piroro with you. You know, he needs to get out. She Her. needs to get out. Okay. Oh, a gun bit. We don't have a gun bit. Yes, this is also what I want. Thank you. It's a hair Durhan. Yeah, he usually has a gun bit, now that I think about it. Now that the mayor is home, let's go talk to the mayor. Although, if I think about it, that might actually start the story. The tournament? It might start it if I talk to him, but we'll go talk to him anyways. I, I'm pretty sure he'll ask us if we're ready or not. Let's talk to him. Spappy, you still seem to be worried. If I were you, I, I know what I could... Hold on. If I were you, I know what I could do it, but I know what I could do it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I have no intention of forcing you to do anything. But I also have no intention of giving up either. Uh, isn't that kind of a contradiction? No. I'll be back to talk to you soon. Please make a decision by then. Well, we'll just end the week in the middle of your house. <laughs> <laughs> I can see these kids like they just fall asleep on your floor suddenly. 
Ah, it's the village mayor. I'm back. Hello. Well, do you think about my proposition? Yeah, I've been thinking about it a lot. I wanted to know, though, why me? This tournament of yours, it attracts some serious readers, uh, real monster battle pros. I can understand how the proposition may seem a somewhat strange. May seem a somewhat strange. Sorry, I guess those <laughs> you know, things that are very important to the grammatical stuff. Uh, but the fact is, we have a little problem in this village of ours. I'm the mayor. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Next to our village lies some woods known as the Devil's Forest. Recently, the monsters who live who lives there. The monster I who to lives the, there. Yes, that makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy to believe them, I guess. Uh, they weren't at, at fault this time, though. Uh, I refer to the Devil, of course. He has taken to coming into our fields and destroying our crops. The village had to do something, so we decided to hold a tournament to find a breeder who could subjugate the devil. But the winning breeders, we don't think they will ever do anything to solve our problem. Huh? Why not? The whole village contributes to a cash prize. It's supposed to fund the winner's attempt to subjugate the devil. But all I care about is the prize money. Our problem is that they're too good. The breeders in our village just don't have a chance. Now I get it. So you're looking for a new way to win. But the thing is, I'm, I'm kind of scared. I, I've never done a battle. How can I beat pros like that? Ha! You don't know yet that yet, do you? You can't give up without trying first. Besides, are you saying that you don't trust your monster? That your partner in arms isn't good enough? Tsk, tsk, No, no, it's not that. My monster could do it for sure. That's more like it. Now you're showing some spirit. Okay. If you think I can help, if I can help, I'll join. Oh, that's not my phone. Name. I want to see if I'm any good. Oh, that is wonderful news. Wonderful. Well then, as soon as you're ready, come by my house. I'm mighty grateful to you. He really salutes us. Okay. So we're not ready yet. I don't think. Time to start this week's meeting, blah 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 blah. Alright, schedule. And we're not the one that's the one I meant. Um You can actually skip straight to the closing by pushing the triangle button. So wherever you are in the menu, if you push triangle, go to closing. Oh look, now he's practicing the plate spin. That is a gigantic plate. Yeah, isn't it awesome? Okay, so there's nothing else to do. So we'll just do Seriously, that. that is a huge plate. <laughs> Injuries and sickness aren't good, but there are worse things. If fatigue and stress build up at the same time, a monster could be hospitalized or even run away. I'm not sure I've ever seen a monster run away in this game. Hospitalization or running away take a lot longer to recover from than an injury or sickness. How do you recover from running away? They come back. <laughs> Depending on the timing, this can affect a show, and they may result in bad habits too. Becoming more easily injured, for example. Yeah, if you injure a monster a lot and they breed, the the baby monster will be easily injured. Just try not to overdo things. Try and sympathize with your monster. Heck no. Oh, he's resting for the week. Well, this clothes. There's something going on. Yeah, there are times that, like... It'll go really quick, and then sometimes it takes forever to do a week. Um... Oh, we'll check the disc store next week. The most important element of training may be the policy you choose. First of all, the timing of rest periods changes depending on the policy. If you're more lenient, you'll give more rests. If you're strict, you'll give fewer rests. In addition, fatigue, stress, motivation, and bonding increase in different ways depending on the policy. This may also this also depends on the compatibility of the policy with the monster's personality. But uh, we'll talk about that next time. Yeah, if the monster really likes hard work. It's a good idea to give him to somebody that likes a hard policy because they do really well together. For now, just remember that if your training doesn't seem to be going well, 
Try changing your policy. Just one more thing. We staff members like certain policy. We staff members like certain policies more than others too. Those are our default policies. Even if you tell us to use a different policy, after a month or so goes by, we'll want to go back to our default policy. Yeah, that's not an empty threat. You have to keep an eye on that. The staff member's current policy changes every month. You should check it in the first week of each month. We just can't help it. If it's too much trouble to change our policy, if it's too much trouble to change our policies each month, wait. We just can't help it. If it's too much trouble to change our policies each month. I feel like that's not a complete sentence. I don't know why. The, if the if was gone, it would be a lot easier. Yeah. Oh, she didn't finish. Try selecting uh. monsters with personalities to go well with their policies. Next time we'll talk about policies and compatibility. See you then. Okay, so she Come tricked back me. next time for an exciting conclusion to our topic of conversation. She will keep training. <laughs> Man, that'd be like the like the worst cliffhanger ever. And by worst, I mean like it's just a bad cliffhanger, not like it's like a, you know, it has me on the edge of my seat cliffhanger. <laughs> it's like we cut off the video. It's like you'll never guess what they're gonna talk about next time. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I wish I could jump. You know what other game you can't jump in? There's a lot of games you can't jump in. Sweet it in three. Yeah, I know. Okay. Give me something. Ooh, a Jane. I really like them, actually. I mean, they're really bad mixes, but they're still really pretty. We have the rest. I might actually use that Jane. Jane. I don't know this what it's called. Jane Yane? I don't know. I always thought it was Jane. Albert's lecture on policy. <laughs> okay. Thank you for that introduction. <laughs> but today I'd like to tell you all about a monster about all about monster personalities and policies for raising them. As I told you last time, some policies are more compatible with some personalities than others. If the monster is is compatible with your policy, the training will go well. If it isn't, it'll be more difficult. For example, hard worker or competitive will have good compatibility with any policy. But cool or not serious monsters may not respond well to any policy. Does that mean that changing policies won't have any effect on them? Well, it will have some effect, but you shouldn't expect a major change. Then what kind of monsters do we have to worry about when using the right policy with? Well, for example, a hot-blooded, delicate, clingy, or combative monster will have some policies that work well, and some that won't work at all. So I'm guessing we need to use the hardest policy with a delicate type. <laughs> <laughs> That's my thought. Hot-blooded and competitive monsters like heart training. Delicate, clingy monsters like the opposite. Oh, I was wrong! Oh, no! Bad me. Would have never guessed. <laughs> Aside from that, just do a lot of training. Lots and lots and lots of training. Super hard training with the clingy ones, too. <laughs> and try to understand your monster. That's all for today's lecture. Come back next time. So basically, we had to learn by doing? That's oh. Good luck. That's all for this lecture. I thought I was going to get through a video without thinking. Never mind. Okay. your video without what? Having to edit it? Edit, yes. Do you edit that out? Yeah. I didn't know you edited that out. Sorry. That I think I, I actually... That one slipped through once in one of my speaking videos, but fortunately no one said anything. Oh, I didn't know you edited that out. Okay, sorry. Um, that's actually kind of one of those words that it's been in limbo, if it's a bad word or not, and I decided, you know what? I'd rather not test the waters with that. I'd rather be too yeah, cautious. It's like it's it's not a profanity... Well, it is a profanity, but it's not a vulgarity, or maybe have that backwards, or... Yeah. I know some. I know some parents that think it is, and some most that don't. So anyways, you'll notice that my uh, heart. I can't point at it. Uh, the heart's starting to fill up a little. He loves I'll take, me. I'll take your word for it. I can't see it. I also don't, didn't mention this, but below normal, you'll see it says relaxed. That's actually his personality. So he would probably like the easier type training, but tough cookies. He's going to be on normal. Okay, we got a couple saucers actually. So, what's the 
So basically their fatigue and stress are going to go up a lot faster if you try to exercise, exercise them too hard. If you give them the wrong policy, their stress will go up. And if okay. they don't like being on the hard policy either, then their uh, injury rate and uh, tiredness can go up too fast. Okay, so it really actually is... like Because I was thinking, like, okay, what else if you have, like, a like a cool, or whatever, the cold-blooded, the, you know, the, delicate, there we go. If you have, like, a delicate monster, you know, wouldn't there still be an advantage to working it hard anyway, even if it's going to maybe not react as well? Well, if you work um, it too hard and it's delicate, it's going to stress out a lot faster. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So you're still going to have, like, a net benefit to working it less. Yes. Even though you're not going to be as productive in working it less. Yeah. I mean, okay. I, pr I don't prefer the, the easier ones. I, I generally have the harder working ones, but the, I, I almost never keep a monster that really likes the easiest type of training because they just end up sleeping all day. Um, but it depends. Most of the time, I, I try to have a normal type policy. Makes sense. We'll, we'll see when we get there. Um... I think eventually I have to get rid of these. Yeah, so let's just get rid of some of these. And she's all like... Oh, I guess I'll read it next time. You want to donate it? You'll never see it again, you know? Y you don't care? Um, alright. Choose a saucer to donate. This one? You really want to do this? It it'll never be back. It's been donated. Ugh. Do you want to tire more? Yes, I do. See, she gets a little upset at me, but you can only carry so many, so... And I'm you should just care for the ones you have. <laughs> See, I don't know why she's so upset. It's not like, you know, I've actually raised <laughs> any of these. You're like a person who goes to the pet store to buy more animals and then donates the ones they already have. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> That's what she thinks, too. Well... Like, sorry, I can only have five, it would be you like, know, five dachshunds at a time. I it would be like buying a dog from the store that was asleep and then returning it before it woke up. It wouldn't know the difference. <laughs> okay. Of course, I'm still not used to the fact that you can buy dogs and cats from a pet store. That still boggles my mind. Yeah, back in my hometown, it was actually illegal to sell uh, cats and dogs in a pet store because they thought it was cruel treatment to have them in cages or like small confined areas. So it wasn't legal. And the funny thing is, when I moved away from my hometown to go to college, I was like, oh my gosh, there's dogs in that store! And I was like, that can't be legal! And I talked to them, and they said, oh, yeah. And apparently, it's only my hometown that does that, and it's just weird. And there's this horrible store in my mall that sells dogs. Oh my god, it makes me cry every time I see them. They're like in, they're like in aquariums. I'm not joking. They put these puppies in aquariums, and they look horrible. It's like, I want to buy them all just so I can like give them to a rescue agency that'll actually take care of them. Ugh, oh, I don't even want to think about it. We're going back to the game. Okay. I got the sniffles now. Let's talk to them. There don't seem to be any problems. Alright, next week. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's been almost 20 minutes again. When a monster's bonding is high, his parameters will increase more when putting on a show. Since you can't put on a show every week, this difference will start to build up. Once you figure out a monster's personality, you can choose a training policy that will be appropriate for him. Bless you. When a trainer spends a long time with a monster, the monster's bonding for him will gradually increase. So you shouldn't change trainers too often. Or at all. Like, pretty much you want to find a monster that's almost perfect right at the beginning. Why can't I face you? There we go. Blah blah blah. He's Do resting. more blah blah blah. I don't know if he give me the trainers if after I finish the tutorials or I can't remember if it's after the storyline. Well, we'll just finish these tutorials at least. I was hoping to do another show. Since we're in a service, giving shows is obviously an important part of our lives. If we go too long without giving any shows, our popularity will go down, or our motivation will go unused, resulting in wasted time. And most of all, we lose a chance to increase our monster's abilities. 
The schedule for our shows is up to you. But if you wait too long, I may decide on a show date for you. Yeah, he will do that. If you go, like, I think two or three months without a show, um, he'll get mad and force you to go to one. If you look at the data screen, you'll be see a meter showing Albert's level of dissatisfaction. Oh, I thought that was something else. Interesting. This reaches the maximum of a show will be scheduled. Oh, for some reason I thought that was fame. <laughs> well, this so changes be, everything. He must just be dissatisfied with me a lot. Wow, he's so upset he doesn't even want to read it. I just can't bring myself to read this. <laughs> Dissatisfaction! Isn't there any other way to put it? No. Okay. Well, his motivation's going up really slow. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you don't need to read that every week. I didn't. Blah, blah, blah. That's blah, blah, blah. I'm just trying to jump for some reason. Wrong game. <laughs> you can't do that in this game. Yeah, I know. You know what other games you can't do it in? Lots of games, like speaking in. Yeah, like speaking three. Uh, the way a monster's motivation increases will depend on the monster's personality. Hot-blooded or combative monsters are quick to build up motivation, but cool or not serious monsters will have a harder time. The maximum value for motivation is 100. Not putting on a show... What does that say? When. Oh, they split when now? Yeah, they did. Not putting on a show when a monster has motivation this high is just a waste of time. You also shouldn't try too hard to get everyone to 100. Yeah, I, I never do that. How do you consider the blah blah blah? The next week, blah blah blah. Oh, it's time to go check the saucer shop too, I believe. Are you doing fine? Yes, you always are. So rare my own monster wants something. <laughs> He's too shy to ask. She's too shy to ask. Do, do, do. What she really wants is more attention. All what she sees is you come in once a week and go, You okay? Good. I'm out. <laughs> you better have something good. I'm breaking ahead. I wish I could steal the ones on the, sh the shelves. He obviously has more than what he's showing me. Oh, I have all these. Fine, I'll just leave from the middle of your store. <laughs> How do you like them apples, huh? Punk? Sniffles? Sniffle, sniffle, sniffle. If your training isn't going well, that's a sign that your monster's fatigue and stress levels are getting high. Pay particular attention to monsters who skip training sessions. Talk to the staff member in charge and help them out. No. So Spampy is like the head trainer of the trainers. Yeah. Well, shouldn't that be Albert's job? No, his job is to give me obnoxious tutorials that never seem to end. Okay. I heard that. <laughs> I mean, uh... I don't know. Fatigue increases as this monster trains you ingrate. <laughs> But if a monster isn't suited to a particular trick, the monster will become more fatigued than usual. You can make a guess as to whether a monster is suited for a particular trick by looking at his starting parameters. Pretty much he's saying, if you try to give a power trick to a pixie, then you're retarded. If the monster's highest parameter is the same one as the parameter that will increase with that trick, the monster is probably suited for it. Okay, I think it's about time to give a show, actually. Let's give a show next week. <laughs> we better cut off this video, too. Oh, yeah. I guess we'll save. And my tummy's rumbling. Oh, no. It's time for dinner. And I have... I don't know what we have for dinner. I guess I might have pizza, since that's all I got left in my freezer. <laughs> it's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. I'm advertising in my own videos. Uh, YouTube does not need to do it for me. <laughs> well, oh I mean, I, I enabled advertising for one day, and I just made so much money I've been set for life ever since, you know? I better not have an advertisement just because I said the word DiGiorno. I'll be so mad. I don't know. I, I try so hard to avoid anything that'll make ads turn on automatically for my videos, because I think I only have 
four videos out of my 500 something that have ads because now that the iPhone and iPad app support ads, I just don't want to torture my viewers with them. Um, I don't know. I try really hard, but I, I can't always guess who's going to get mad about what. I just can't believe that my montage video was flagged for using a song that was from the 60s. Who cares? Anyways, uh, well, guys, we guys, we'll see you guys next time when we go to a show. And I'm guessing we'll probably, once we finish the show, I'm hoping we can just go do that competition. So, um, yes, and I'll see you next time when we do stuff at Monster Rancher. Bye for now. Hi, guys.